Hi, you might have seen my two previous videos on matchstick puzzles. This is the third one, which I think is probably the harder of the three. I'll present to you three brain numbing puzzles where each puzzle will require the movement of four matches. But with one important thing, and that is that when you move a match from one position to another, you are not allowed to rotate it at any particular angle. It must remain pointing in the same direction. Okay, let's see how we go. Here's the first puzzle. We have a shape that looks a bit like a fencer. And the aim is to move four matches so that the fencer turns into three squares of equal size. Move number one, moving the arm, as you can see there, to the right. Move number two, part of the leg is moving to another position. Move number three, another arm. And finally, move number four, moving the neck. So we do have our three small squares, don't we, of equal size. Were you able to figure that one out? Let's look at the next one. This is a funny shape, isn't it? And by moving four matches for this one, we are told that we will discover what water is actually consisting of. Let's see. Move number one. Move number two. The third one. And number four. There you go. What do we have? H2O. If you know your chemistry, I guess you will figure that out as being the molecular formula for the water molecule. Two parts hydrogen, one part oxygen. Okay, let's move to the last one. Back to basic mathematics. Here we have an equation. 6 plus 3 equals 9. This time, by moving four matches, we will create a totally different equation. I don't know if there are any other ways of doing it than the one I'm going to show you. Maybe that's something you can investigate. But let's see what I've created. Move 1. Change the plus to a minus and create the digit 8. Move number 2. Change the 3 to a 5. Move number 3 creates two new digits, a 6 and a 3. Still not true, is it? So finally, move number 4. There we have it. 8 minus 6 equals 2. So how successful were you with these three puzzles? Try them with your friends and see if you can stump them. I hope you enjoyed the puzzles, and if you want me to create any more, please let me know in the comments section. Until next time, bye bye.